I am Dr. K.C. Nischal, practicing as a consultant dermatologist at Nirmal Skin and Hair Clinic, Vijayanagar, Bengaluru. Keratosis pilaris has become very common skin condition nowadays and we see it in young children as well. As early as 8 years we are seeing this condition. So what is keratosis pilaris? See, it's a condition where many a times people don't have any symptoms but it's only cosmetic disfigurement. So how do we recognize it? It's a rash which happens on the outer aspects of the arms sides of the back, thighs and buttocks. It can happen on the neck, sides of the face that's on the cheeks and on the ear lobes. So it's usually on the outer portion, the lateral portion of the body which is involved in keratosis pilaris. Normally what happens is all the dead cells on the skin, they shed individually. So that is why whatever dead cells are going off, we never recognize it. But in this particular condition, it's a disorder of keratinization where the cells become sticky and they form a plug. So here the collection is more on the outer aspect of the skin. So it accumulates around the hair follicle and it feels rough. Because the dead cells have a lot of melanin, it looks darker in shade. Not only that, whenever it happens on the face, there's a vascular component and hence people have reddening of the skin. So the moment people go out in sun or when they smile, when they are angry, when they eat spicy food, whenever the temperature is a little bit hot, the skin starts becoming very red. It looks something like a rosacea, where the skin is very red on exposure to minimal stimuli. So it's more of a cosmetic disfigurement where it does not look good. So how do we take care of it? So the most important thing is vitamin A controls the shedding of dead cells. So having food which are rich in vitamin A, like green leafy vegetables, carrot, tomato, beetroot, sweet pumpkin, papaya, they help in regularizing the keratinization. Second, keeping the skin hydrated. Whenever the skin is hydrated, the accumulation of the dead cells reduce and they peel off smoothly. And third, using some agents which can reduce the melanin as well as the dead cells. So keratolytic agents can be used. Not only that, since the accumulation is around the hair follicles, laser hair reduction is also a treatment which has been suggested to reduce keratosis pilaris. When the redness is prominent, naturally you need a lot of antioxidants, sunscreens and when we go for sunscreens for children, it is usually mineral based sunscreen. So by taking care of these aspects, keratosis pilaris can be treated to some extent with good relief.